Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has claimed that efforts were being made to revive Khalistani elements with backing from Pakistani spy agency ISI. He called for a tough law such as the PCOCA to contain such forces. The government is following up on the incident of the Punjab youth's killing in the US. The Indian student was shot dead allegedly by two armed robbers, including one of Indian origin, at a grocery store in California. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has said that he was ready for a longer innings in politics and could rerun for office for Punjab's sake. He had announced during campaigning that February 2017 assembly elections would be his last. Only 30 Punjab-based recruiting agents are registered with the Union Ministry of External Affairs, though hundreds others are running operations illegally in the state. Punjab is among the toppers on the ministry's list of unauthorized or unregistered agents. Almost 46 days after very poor quality air, the quality index across Punjab has come back to moderate, with the state air reading recorded at 114 microgram per cubic meter. The light showers and strong winds have eliminated the toxic air. A New Delhi court will record former Haryana Chief Minister Om Prakash Chautala's statement as an accused on December 11. In March 2010, the CBI charge sheeted Chautala for allegedly possessing assets worth 6.09 crore rupees, far exceeding his legal income between 1993 and 2006. The NGT has ordered 10 builders in Faridabad district of Haryana to deposit bank guarantee of 50 lakh rupees each within three days for building faulty sewage treatment plants. The tribunal also prohibited the builders from dumping sewage in the open. Residents of Delhi NCR region want schools to be shut till the 20th of November to protect their children from pollution, a survey has revealed. Around 55% have supported the shutdown. The presence of smog in the region has delayed the arrival of migratory birds in some water bodies and natural wetlands across Punjab, Haryana and Himachal Pradesh. Forest Department officials claim that this year's smog has reduced the number by 30% so far. The Amadi Party has slammed the censor bodies and supported the controversial Punjabi film Ekomkar, which has been banned for release in India for provoking communal disharmony. It focuses on various issues like drug abuse, rapes and farm suicides in Punjab. I'll be back, stay logged on to IndianTimesCity.com as the news from Canada follows.